Hi, in this video we have a definite integral and we're being asked to evaluate this integral. So we're going to do it by thinking of this in terms of area. Recall if you have a function, say f, that is non-negative on some interval, say a, b, then the definite integral from a to b of f of x, let's say with respect to x, is the area under the curve. Let me give you a brief example. So let's just pretend that this is a and this is b, and then here is our graph. So the area is going to be this orange piece here, and so this area is equal to this, which is the same as the definite integral. So if the function is non-negative, in other words, positive or zero, um, then uh, the definite integral, uh, one interpretation is that it is area. So we need to think about this here. This is a square root function, so it's certainly going to be greater than or equal to zero, right? It'll be equal to zero at the endpoints, actually, at two and negative two. So we have to figure out what this graph is. I think the easiest way to do that is to give it a name, so let's call it y. So we'll start by setting y equal to 4 minus x squared. And if it's not obvious yet, what you can do is square both sides. So I'll put a 2 here, and we'll square this side as well. So this is y squared equals 4 minus x squared. Now we can add x squared to both sides, so plus x squared plus x squared. So this becomes x squared plus y squared equals 4. And so now you probably see what this is. If you don't, it's okay. Um, recall that the formula for a circle centered at the origin with radius r is given by this formula here. So r here is 2 because it's the square root of 4. So this is simply a circle centered at the origin of the xy plane with radius 2. So 1, 2, 1, 2, so it's just a circle. But the thing is, so I'm going to go ahead and draw my awesome circle. The thing is, um, we only care about what's happening between negative 2 and 2, right? And so we're only looking at this piece here, which is basically the top half of the circle, right? So this would be the top half of a circle. So we're looking at the area of the top half of a circle. In other words, the area of half of the circle. So the area of a circle is pi r squared. So the area of the full circle, well, the radius here is 2, so it would be pi times 2 squared, so it would be 4 pi. So that would be the area of the entire circle. So since we only want half the circle, it would be 2 pi. So the answer to this problem is um, 2 pi. <laughs> so this definite integral is equal to half the area of a circle of radius 2 centered at the origin. By the way, if you're curious, what is the bottom half? If you, if, you take, if you take this equation, let's just do it for fun, and you solve it for y, so I say I subtract x squared, so you get y squared equals 4 minus x squared. When you take the square root here, you do get a plus or minus, so you get plus or minus the square root of 4 minus x squared. And so the bottom half of the circle would be this here. Likewise, you can actually come up with equations for the right half of the circle and the left half of the circle by taking this equation here and solving for x. And then the positive result will give you the right half of the circle and the negative result will give you the left half of the circle. Just some extra info. Yep, that's it. I hope this has been helpful. Good luck.